Hello, and welcome to the Array Energia video tutorial. An array is a container of multiple values and is used to store blocks of data that need to be grouped together. This example shows you how to toggle on and off a sequence of pins whose numbers are neither contiguous nor necessarily sequential. To do this, you can put the pin numbers in an array and then use for loops to iterate through each array element. You will need a breadboard, hookup wire, 9 LEDs, 9 220 ohm resistors, and an MSP-EXP430G2 launch pad with Energia. Before exploring the code, you will need to set up the hardware according to the schematic and breadboard simulation displayed. Connect 9 LEDs with 220 ohm resistors in series to digital pins 2 through 10 on your launch pad. Ensure the cathode pin of each LED is connected to ground. Once you've completely set up the hardware, plug the launch pad into your computer through USB. Let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Control, Arrays. First, you will see three global variables. The timer variable controls the rate at which the for loop iterates through the array. The LED pins variable is the array in which the pin numbers, corresponding to each LED, are stored in an iterative order as defined by the programmer. The pin count variable defines the number of pins or length of the array. In the setup function, we use a for loop to define each of the pins corresponding to an LED as outputs. We begin at element 0, or pin 4, and exit after element 8, or pin 8. In the loop function, we first iterate through a for loop to turn on and off each LED one by one, from the first array element to the last, whereby we are delaying by the timer value previously defined between the on and off operations. In the following for loop, we perform the exact same operation, where the only difference is that we start the iteration from the last array element and exit after the first. And that's it. Once you have programmed the launch pad, watch as each LED turns on and off briefly, one after another, and then reverses the direction of toggling. You don't have to have the pins sequential to one another or even in the same order. You can rearrange them however you want.